what to do when she pulls back. Whenever a woman pulls back on you, the only thing to do is pull back in return. Sometimes they call this going no contact, okay? But essentially all you're doing is pulling back as well. The worst thing you can do, the absolute worst thing that you can do after a girl, after a woman pulls back from you, which is the mistake that 99.9% .9 of guys make out there is they don't pull back. They just chase her even harder, right? And you probably made this mistake too. I've made this mistake more than once. This is how we learn, right? But this is how we learn, right? We have to learn the hard way for some of us. When the girl pulls back, a lot of guys make the irrational decision to chase the girl, thinking that he can win her back, usually by begging, pleading, buying her gifts, flowers, roses, showing up at her doorstep, showing up at her work, feeding her all sorts of attention. He thinks that he can win the girl back. And all he's doing is pushing her away even more. You can think back to your own relationships with your ex-girlfriends that you tried to get back, that have pulled away from you, and you made the foolish decision because you were not subscribed to the 33 Secrets yet. Right? You made the foolish decision to pursue her, thinking that you can win her affection back, thinking that she's a unicorn, she'll listen to me if I just try harder, if I just comply with all of her outrageous demands, if I just kiss her feet, <coughs> if I just lose all self-respect and give in to her, she will come back to me. How did that work out for you? What was the result of that behavior? Probably bad, right? Probably bad. Uh, I can guarantee it was bad, actually. Right? That never works. Uh, I have never known a single case where the girl came back to the guy. I mean, she may, she might come back temporarily. A lot of these girls often will. Once you, once she pulls back, and then you start with the begging and the pleading, she'll feel sorry for you, and she will come back temporarily. And the reason she's coming back isn't even for you. It's just to confirm that you are the chump low value male that she thought you were and she's just confirming that you are that so she doesn't feel any guilt when she moves on to the BBD, the bigger better deal. When she moves on to the next guy, when she hops back on the carousel, <coughs> okay? So that is all she is doing when she pulls back and you chase her and she happens to come back. It's always temporary, guys. Even if you beg your ass off and this chick comes back to you, let me tell you, it's always going to be temporary. And the reason why it's gonna be temporary is because of just that. The chick is just coming back for confirmation that you are who she thought you are. You're just that low value chump and she doesn't want to feel an ounce of guilt when she moves on from you, right? And a lot of times, very, very sadly, these girls will tell you shit like, I'll always love you, right? How many times have you heard these girls say that? I'll always love you, no matter what, okay? I'll always love you as she's about to hop on the next guy less than, you know, less than 72 hours from now. So, next time you're in the situation where the girl pulls back, Right? Whether you're in a relationship with her, marriage with her, or you're just gaming her, and she kind of just pulls back from you, maybe. And the reason why she's pulling back from you, if you're just gaming her, is you might have given her a little bit too much free attention, a, a little bit too much free validation, a little bit too much free approval, and she's pulling back a little bit, right? To see if you will continue to chase her. Remember what I tell you guys, everything's a shit test. So when these girls pull back, rationally, as long as you can think rationally, you're not too invested in this girl. Rationally, uh, I want you to know it is a shit test. But at the end of the day, everything a woman does is a shit test. To see how strong you are, to see if you will buckle, to see if you will kowtow to her. 
So whenever a girl pulls back, the last thing that you should ever do is chase her. Okay, instead, really the thing to do is to ghost her, right? To ghost her. Focus on other women. Focus on yourself. Focus on your goals. Focus on doing other things, right? Just take the focus off of her. Even if it's just temporary, take the focus off of her and put it on someone else or something else, if not yourself. Okay, that is what you do whenever any woman pulls back. Whenever she pulls away from you, that is what you do. The absolute last thing that you should ever do, that I forbid you from doing, is pursuing her whenever she pulls back, right? Chasing her. That is exactly what she wants you to do. And as soon as you do that, you're just another predictable, low value beta that she has wrapped around her finger, that she will never respect, that she can never get wet for, that she will never have romantic feelings for. Okay, so whenever the girl pulls back, so will you. Only you will pull back harder. If she ghosts you, you will ghost her harder, okay? You have to do things three to 10 times harder than what she is giving you in order for her to value you in return. Understand? That is what you do when the girl pulls away. So with that said, I'm gonna wrap up here, guys. Until next time, this is Amp from The 33 Secrets, signing out from the Las Vegas Strip as we stroll along here. Okay, don't forget to destroy that like button below. Make sure you destroy it, guys. Destroy it for me. Also, make sure you hit that notification bell right next to it so that you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube. More importantly, guys, please make sure you subscribe, okay? Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. It helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm and it also will notify you anytime I release a fresh upload here to my channel before YouTube takes it down. You'll be able to catch it, watch it, especially uh, lately because they've been taking down a lot of my best videos. They don't like this stuff, right? They don't like me teaching you guys this stuff. So make sure that you are subscribed to my channel as well. And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, and platinum pill content that I'm teaching you guys even further, the best way to do it is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and clothe the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I am talking about eights, nines, and tens, the same exact type of women that myself and all of my coaching students all around the world are approaching and closing every single week in every single part of the world, guys. And I kid you not, in every single part of the world. I have students all over the world globally now and they're using what they've learned from me in seven months of mastery to bring attractive high value women into their own lives to date hang out with casually date jump into ltrs with some of these guys have even married some of these girls they even had families already it's insane it's insane how far you guys have taken a lot of my coaching lessons so if you want to support my work, that is the absolute best way to do it is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, seven months to mastery. And right now the first month is only a buck. It's only $1 for the entire first month of coaching lessons from me. So please take advantage of it. And all you need to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video.